All right, it's been a while since we recorded a side order run. We're going to do a, a bomb heavy run. We're going to invest everything into bombs. So, sub saver seems like a good one to start with for this, yeah? And we'll go with that. Yeah, it's been a bit since I've done some side order and uh, nothing I super want to play tonight. This is kind of the last theme run I actually want to do for side order. So, I'm not sure what I'll do after this. Maybe some challenge runs, but... I haven't done a super bomb focused run yet, so I figure, you know, I guess, why, why not spec into that? Oh, we have strikes too, this is going to be a fun combo. And there go my dogs. One minute. I just realized I was muted for those two floors. Nice. My bad. Oh, Pearl Strike is so tempted, but we're doing a sub-orientated run, so. This one is a bonus. We could use some more money. I mean, Explosion Knockback's probably one of the ones we're going to have to get eventually, so. I you just weren't talking. No, I just genuinely forgot. Oops. Oh, I wasn't really talking about much other than I said it's that's fair to whoever said it got repetitive. Don't use main weapon. Well, good news. We weren't planning to, you know, our build's not focused around the main weapon, so. I get whatever this is. Get him! Thank you. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there you are. Die! Thank you. Nice. Also, uh, I talked about this in a different stream, but, uh, to clarify, I am going to do a, uh, I'm going to do a Koshian watch party this Saturday. I should be able to do it. It is the final one. So the team that wins this will be representing Japan at Worlds. So it'll be from 8 to 12 p.m. Pacific time. I don't know if we'll watch the full thing, but probably. So, yeah. That'll be a thing that's happening. That'll be cool to see. 
And then I think Worlds is just uh, a week after that, right? I mean, the meta for Japan and Turf right now, I believe, is Reflux Pencil. So, if you guys are looking for an escape from Pencil, you probably won't see it. But who knows? See, like, there's part of me that wants a non-Pencil team to win so Worlds is more interesting, but then part of me who's like, but if Pencil is spammed at Worlds, they might finally nerf it. Like, same, same thoughts for Zuka. So low-key, I think it's better for the good of Splatoon that Zuka and Pencil are, like, prominent on whatever team wins. <laughs> so. Because, like, do you guys remember when Ray got its 1.8 to 1.5 damage per frame when shooting through a wall nerf thing? That was conveniently after Double Stingray won Worlds in 2019. Or, no, 2018, I think. I forget. So, you know. No, it was 2019. 2019. It took that long for Ray to get fixed. Uh, quote, fixed. It still wasn't even fully fixed. But yeah, you guys think you had to wait a while for Crab? Ah, oh, no. Nah, nah, nah. 18 months for Ray, to get, for Ray to get an actual sizable damage nerf. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, ink damage counts all my weapons. So we're gonna get this one. 18 months? Yeah, it took 18 months... About for Ray to get its actual damage nerf. It started to become meta around late 2017, and it was fixed in mid-2019. And I say fixed because it wasn't really fixed. But, like, it became an actual difficult special. That's kind of the one thing Ray has an argument for in the special design department. Like, the only thing. Is that Ray actually was pretty hard. But I'd argue that's kind of a negative, because if you weren't, like, hyper-competitive, Ray just kind of felt terrible. And then in comp, it just broke the game. So nobody was happy. Yeah, like, obviously Zuka's way easier than what Ray was. Like, Ray required a lot of tracking. I miss Ink Armor? No comment. As a casual player, I thought Ray was ass. Because they made it, it's, like, so hard to use. Because they had to nerf it. Um, I guess ink damage will take. I mean, more damage is nice. Weren't the ray kits also split between really bad short range options and extremely good ones? Yes. Also, they stopped putting ray on a thing like six months into the game, which is really funny. Luckily, nothing in Splatoon 3 has that same treatment. I think. I mean, Crab was added to something. It just wasn't added to very many things. But it wasn't six months and then nothing. It was a year. And it's only one thing. You know, we'll surely see another Crab open. I'm sure. We'll definitely get another one. They gotta give it on something. What can they even put Crab on right now? You could give it to Bamboo. Then I don't have to fight Bamboo with Whale. That would be nice. You could give it to Edit. But, eh, Edit. I don't know if Edit deserves that. No offense. Give it to Hydra. Crab with Hydra would make a lot of sense, but I think Hydra with Bubble is probably what they'd do. And that makes even more sense, because it would actually help it. Range Blaster with Crab? Uh, you know, it's supposed to get Kraken, but... Uh, oh, well. Recycle Brella? Yeah, Brella could get Crab. But I kind of want it to be on something that I know will be good. Because I just want to see more of it, man. Don't need a bending yet. Oh, double ink damage. Hell yeah. If you believe that if you add Ray and add armor, it might be balanced. I mean... It being balanced is a debate. Like, you could argue Ray would be balanced. It just wouldn't be healthy. Neither of them would be. Boy, you could make them fair. Like, balance-wise, I guess. Like, you could make Ray and make it not totally broken, but it would still defy all laws of game design without a significant rework. 
realistically, armor being reworked into spawn armor is like the best thing that could have happened to it. And that's all that really ever needs to happen. Thanks, Bucket. Yeah, go bomb. Bomb. Dowser Crab? Dowser Crab could be cool. I would be happy with Dowser Crab, but Dooley already has it. I feel like the best candidate is Bamboo, honestly. Plus, Bamboo deserves a really fun special. What is your stream title meeting? It's referring to the fact that off, uh, Into the Light, uh, Into the Light is playing in the plaza. Oh my god, I'm trying to ignore these charges for funsies, but it might kill me. Are you guys enjoying the charger noises? I think Bamboo would be the coolest candidate, though. Give Bamboo a crab. Plus, then if it gets a crab, it'd be good with, like, any sub, almost. It's probably gonna get dark, so, like, give it a crab at least, you know? At least then the kid has some all-around synergy, since I guess you can dark crab combo. It's not nothing. Yeah, Dark Crab would be good for Bamboo. I'd be fine with that. I would be satisfied with it. Don't crap Dark Crab B Pro 2.0. Yeah, but it makes sense on this gun. See, unlike V Pro, that would actually make sense. I'd also give it something better than crab, though. I'm not, I mean, uh, better than dark. I'm not opposed. I just don't want to see whale in my games. So I'm all for giving any weapon with whale a better kit. So that I do not have to see whale. Thank you for the 100 bits. Much appreciated. Do you think of badge ideas? Oh, yeah! I could do the Order Stamper and Brella. I should DM. Hmm. Like, I think my ideas right now are, uh... Do I have your Discord? Yeah, I do. I think it'd be, like, Order Stamper. Oh, yeah, Kensa Rapid. Order Stamper, Kensa Rapid, Order Brella. Do I have S-Blast 91? Or do I have the 92? I guess it's a small change. Hold on, I wrote it somewhere. Let me pause the recording. I think there was another one. I just can't remember it. Did Reset just do nothing? No. Did almost nothing. Alright, ink damage. Yeah, it was those, and I don't remember what else. Oh, yeah, and CRB. Oh, it just... Oh, oh, it's Dread. Did I get Dread? Oh, I was thinking about Dread D as well. I think I already have x -Flow, and I don't want to do two x -Flows. But it might have been Dread D. We don't have a Dread. Oh, okay, then Dread. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah. Maybe I don't do Order Brella, though, because I think we already have two Brella skins. But definitely Order Stamper, because I, I actually really like the Order Stamper. Here, I will organize that in a minute. I will I will edit that list. Gotta remember I actually can, like, use my bombs. I, I did. I am specking everything into it, after all, so I should probably use it. Here, at checkpoint two. 
more rapid distance I have too. There's a chance I get a third. We have two Brellos? Yeah, okay, that's fine. And I think we also have Cunder. And Cunder can't happen in this game. Also, I guess I'll just do Dread D for the Dread since its colors are something I like a little better. Why not? Explosion knockback. Sure, we'll get more of that. Thank you, Jazz. I appreciate it. Knockback would be funny. Uh, we can get it. I mean, it works. Explosion knockback. You have explosions. You can knock things back. Oh my god, that didn't even stun it. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Come here! Die. Is it crazy how they dropped a kit killer in the form of a special? They dropped two of them! But at least one of them is cool. The other one is screen. So, make of that what you will. Same brand that made Carbon Deco made Dread Ringer D. This is not going to help Deco when I eventually do the which brand makes the best kits video. It's going to hurt its chances of winning pretty significantly. Bit of a detrimental blow, might I say. Go up. Now leave me alone! Oh my god, go up the thing! Okay, it doesn't work. Go, go no, up, up, yes. No! This is not up! No. Go up! Thank you. Dread is Dolphin, not Deco. Oh yeah, wait, never mind. Dolphin. Well, Dolphin's been fumbling kits already! Dolphin, this is not a good look for you. Dolphin, you gotta, like, bro, you, uh, like, we just had L3 and H. H3 at least is, like, functional pieces, but you're not really, you gotta make a case for the buffs a little bit more. Uh, L3D we're not going to talk about for the sake of my own sanity. L3D could be really cool if they ever want to make Stamp a functioning special. But I, at this point, I don't think they do. Don't you dare! Leave it alone! Here, you're good. Sorello's still been doing pretty good if we just pretend Sunder doesn't exist. Jackpot said they haven't found a scrim all week. Dude. Like, I know comp is burned out as hell right now with this meta, but god damn, it's bad. Moonlight played one Sendu Q set this week, by the way. We played one set the entire week. I'm, like, trying to find pickups, because I'm not super demotivated right now. I've been having fun, but so few people want to play right now. I'm like, I can't... I don't blame them. I get why. But damn, it sucks. Like, I can't even blame anyone, because, like, this should not still be... The meta should still not be this by now.
Sorry, so the same issue. I don't think to this degree. I don't think it's been this bad in Splatoon 3 ever. I think this is like the worst most dead Splatoon 3 has been. Like it was a bit lower in December, but that was a lack of tournaments. This is like people are tired of this meta. People are actually tired of this. I heard a tournament match today got decided by crack and cheese stuff and people got annoyed at it too. I don't know. I said it before. When people are comparing the game to Splatoon 2, you know they've probably done something wrong. Like things aren't in a great spot. Because the last time people made Splatoon 2 comparisons was when crab meta got really old. This is not the diss on Splatoon 2. Jump by accident. Oops. Throw bombs. Kill them all. I mean, Pencil's just, like, backline players are just suffering, especially, because they've dealt with missile spamming V-Jet for so long in S2, and now they're just, are like, cooler spamming in this game. It's just kind of sad. I feel so bad for backline players. I think they have it the worst out of all the roles. Like, there's so many cool anchors, and it's like, no, spam the tactic cooler. Good search count as jumping. I don't know, I didn't do that. Alright, watch these cap the zone. That is in fact a barrage. That is what a barrage looks like. I'm like having fun because I've been playing blasters only and doing better individually. So I'm motivated because of that. But I, I mean, like, it's just, it's hard to get people to play the game. Like I just pinged an hour and like 20 minutes ago. Add here, plus three, must be seen, plus one. I have zero responses. Jackpot pinged for a scrim. You cannot play a team better than them. They are the best and nobody wants to play. And they're practicing for worlds and it sucks because like i just hope the last the, the next two weeks to worlds i hope they can get some practice because like it's gonna really really suck if they get to worlds and they're on low practice and it's some close set and we'll never know who would have won if they actually practice i don't want the reason they lose to be that yeah i mean they have a lot of 400 dollars money matches lined up i think ours against them is tomorrow so you know, there's that. Which is a, an event Nines holding for those who have no idea what we're talking about. Nines hosting a thing to help get jackpot practice. And a few people uh, contributed some money to it. I don't remember who specifically, so. Yeah. But I, I hope they're able to get practice. There's still two weeks and that's still plenty of time, so, you know. We'll see. They're all doing individual practice. They're doing their solo queue race and stuff, so, you know. Alright, there's our sub saver 25%. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, there'll be some interesting jackpot money matches to do. 
Maybe I'll uh, watch party some of them. That could be fun. Something new to do. Plus, it'll allow me to talk a little bit about like what they're good at and stuff. What they're bad at. Get all the analysis out. I got five of these. Bomb rush, there you go. Now it's in the game. That's a very funny victory screen. We'll see what happens. I hope things will be all right. But it does suck. There's probably not a patch until After Worlds, so I just, you know, whatever they cook After Worlds, I just hope it's good. I hope they throw the best patch in Splatoon history at us afterward. I hope they buff the shit specials. I hope they nerf Zuka into the ground. I hope they make Pencil fair. I hope they buff other anchors by some miracle. I hope nothing random gets over nerfed to Oblivion. I hope they somehow fix Strike. Maybe they'll give her a specials cheese. I don't know. Just... I hope. I hope something's good. Oh, wow. They fix bamboo's paint. Yeah, that'd be good too. All of Charger's paint. I'm just nuking the entire field. Look, they don't even know how to climb the walls. There really are Splatoon 3 players. Oh, they charge a special. Nice. Why don't TOs and players decide to do different stuff like banning things? I mean, some of them do. But the thing is, if, I, if the $30 tournament I hosted didn't show this well enough, banning stuff is hard. <laughs> it's hard. That shit is not easy. It is really, really hard to get that kind of thing right. Way harder than you think. Like, right now, the obvious one is like, okay, just ban Pencil, ban Shot, and do one Zooka a team, right? Like, that's probably the most obvious thing. Or, like, ban Charge Up and keep Shot active. Like, you can't make everyone happy with this kind of stuff. It's just impossible. But, you know. I, I think, personally, restrictions would definitely be better than what we have right now. For sure. But then there's also the case of Jackpot and the other teams prepping for Worlds. They, don't pr they probably don't even want to play on anything restriction-wise, because, you know, they're trying to win Worlds.
the strong thing replaces what you banned? I mean, yeah, because you can't just ban things for being good. You have to have, like, a direction you want when you ban things. There has to be an actual goal. Like, we want this kind of thing to be good. That's why I don't like the era of no meta. Like, I think a lot of people heard no meta and thought it was good, but it's like, no, there is always going to be something that ends up being good. Like, you cannot prevent meta from existing forever. It will fucking happen, no matter what you do. You could balance a game for 50 years. There will always be one. You will never escape it, ever. It's like, pick and choose. Like, you're gonna have to leave some shit to be good. Some companies get around it by trying to, like, oh, we'll just rotate what's good. Which, you know, has its positives. I'm not gonna deny that. But I hate that. I hate that balance philosophy so fucking much. I hate the idea that things should just rotate what's good or not. That's so... Mm, I don't like it. I don't think things should be good because it's just... Oh, this has been good for too long. Time to make it bad. Like, what actually should be good? What do we want out of the game? How do we want people to play? What do we want them to do? What interactions do we like? Etc. You have to pick that. And it's not an easy decision, but, like, you do have to pick it. It's gonna happen, so, like, lean into one direction. Like, for example, that's why Sword shouldn't be, like, super nerfed. Like, Sword is very good for the game. Like, Bucket is probably a good example. You know, like, maybe Fix Strike a bit, but Bucket itself is probably fine. Stuff like that. You know, that's a whole other topic to explain exactly why all of that is. Dude, we're gonna get, like, almost max pearls. It's like, that's what Splatoon 2 did that's, like, respectable. It's like, they had a vision for the game, and they did that vision. I've said that forever. Three unhealthiest weapons for top-level Splatoon? I don't know, because we haven't seen what some of them could be in the meta. I think Junior is probably one of the worst ones right now, though. I think Junior has, like, only been good in unhealthy metas. Sorry, Junior fans. I have 2 million on Junior. It's... I don't think it's good for the game. Can I get that portal early? I wonder. so long to blow up, man. I wish I had Splat Bomb instead. Kind of sucks that pencil is good because cooler is a big positive for everything else but backline diversity. I mean, cooler, like, sh pencil should be one of the good weapons, I think. I think pencil is totally fine as a thing that should be good for the game. Oh, you can go past 9, you can have 10k pearls. I didn't know that. I think it's, like, good that pencil is a thing. I think it enables a lot of stuff in a good way. My problem is that it's, like, the only thing that's picked. Like, pencil needs to not be the only backline. Like, there should also be Ballpoint and Explo and, like, a better Jet Scorcher kit, like, Burst Kraken, or a heavy Splat, like, or a ZF or a Leader. Like, there needs to be other shit that's picked. Crazy, I know. I don't know. Like, comp players are very tired of the meta, and you can't blame them, because it's been around for, like, over half a year, and it's been very obvious for, like, three months. Like, we're past the period of, oh, okay, this was fairly new. It could still change. That's understandable. It's like, no, we know what's good. We're very, very, very familiar with what is good and why. We get it. It's not a mystery anymore. Everyone understands it by now at top level, you know? All right, that's... It, there's no debate anymore. There is no, like, secret meta pick or anything like that. Like, we already know. Oh my god, let me win the game.
Where'd it go? Oh my god. Thank you. I don't know, it's just, I can see this game being, like, so amazing if they just balance it a tiny bit better. It doesn't even need that much. That's the thing, it doesn't even need that much. So. What is happening? They keep knocking the damn ball away! Ah! My voice cracked in the middle of that, that sounded terrible. Dude, what is this? I guess we're buying pearls. You really want you to use Zuka and homing shots, yeah. Homing shots on bucket. I wish you could get rid of the dialogue between elevators. Like, it's fun the first few times, but, like, I've played this so many times. Might just be out of perks. I guess we'll do Sticky Ink. It's at least still a purple chip, so. While you're cash on the vending machine? I mean, what else am I going to do with it? <laughs> Might as well use it. Okay, I'm gonna have luck for this one on my side. Cool. Some explosion increases would be nice. I think I needed orange. Yeah, like splash damage. Here, increases damage dealt by explosions. Like, I wanted to get more of these. Or explosion radius, but I guess we didn't really get very many of them. Eh, I mean, it's still good enough. Still got decent stuff. So. Plan to feed an enemy, sure, that's fine. 
more bombs that way. No drone. Okay, I don't think I have like anything for the drone anyway. run was exactly what I expected it to be, which is bomb spam. It is, in fact, bomb spam. <laughs> so. Yeah. Pressing a lot of the R button. And we can get more pearls. Oh, finally! I mean, it's late, but we'll take it! There we go. Finally got some explosion radius at the very end. It's not explosion damage, but it's something. Portals get really big. Pretty good against swallows. Oh, I shouldn't have put that on the table. <laughs> you could probably hear that. <laughs> you just hear it shaking. Ah! Cool. Decent amount of pearls. And chose to play Risk Rain music on the tournament stream. Uh, I didn't suggest it, but yeah, I like Risk Rain music, so I, I approved it. Can I finally get damage? Oh no, I already have damage maxed. Bro, what I have to get still. Oh, yeah, this is just locked because it's better to be locked. I could unlock it if I wanted to. I realize with this, you can actually reset it. Which means I can avoid a boss. So I guess for the sake of completion, I'll get it. Though I'm not going to use this. That's just lame. It's already easy enough. Oh yeah, I never actually bought this yet. I thought I did. Come on, I have to get this too. We're actually pretty close to having all the hacks, so that's cool.
I can probably finish this, or I almost finish it, yeah. And I have lives. Yeah, doing pretty good. All right. Yeah, and I can... A few more of these are maxed, I think. Cool. All right, that's it for this run.